Hi there, my name is Zach Smith with Absolute High TN. Welcome back to our guide to High TN injection molding machine models. This is part five of our video series featuring the Zephyr Zeres model machine. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with High TN International or Absolute High TN, please take a second to pause on this screen or any of the others throughout the presentation so that way you have a better understanding of what we have to offer the US and Canadian markets through Absolute High TN. Absolute High TN has been around since 2006 as the sole distributor for high TN injection molding machines, as well as aftermarket service provider. Year after year, we continue to grow, not only in terms of installation-based footprint within the US and Canadian markets, but also our actual physical infrastructure and our personnel team. Now, I'm coming to you from our Monk's Corner, South Carolina facility with a beautiful Zeres machine right here behind me. And we are headquartered in Worcester, Massachusetts, and we have our tech center and aftermarket support coming from Parma, Ohio, just outside of Cleveland. Now the Zephyr family is the high performance division of High TN injection molding machinery. And this is a really unique price performance ratio uh, for high precision focused applications. We are very flexible with our range of, of products within this offering. Uh, depending upon your application, these machines range from 44 all the way up to just over 3,700 US tons. We have the Venus machine that we reviewed in the last video, which is the true all-electric. We've got the Zeres, which is the sister machine we're going over today, and also the Genius machine. Now, the Zephyr headquarters in China, you can see there on the top right, that's where the majority of the manufacturing is done. And you can also have your machine manufactured at the Zephyr Germany facility, where they also do quite a bit of research and development. Now, the Zeres machine, what applications is this machine good for? Well, it's an electric machine, so it's got electric injection and electric clamp. So that's gonna offer you very high repeatability, cycle after cycle. And so this is really a tight tolerance molding solution. So depending upon your application, whether you're a high precision focused custom molder, if you do medical, clean room, packaging, aerospace, optical, you can read. Uh, but if, if it's a process focused job and, and you really need those tight tolerances, dialed in with an electric machine, but need a little bit more robustness and versatility uh, for upcoming or other jobs, this is a great machine for you. The general overview. So again, tight tolerance focused electric machine. However, compared to the Venus all electric machine, this has hydraulics integrated where you need them. And the Zeres machine is available from 44 US tons all the way up to 1,551 tons and this is an electric clamp and injection unit. So these are both powered by our F6 KEB drives. And we utilize the Sigma Tech controller on here, which is something we'll go into a little bit later on. Uh, and the NSK ball screw is the focal point of the five point toggle clamp, which is a very proven design. It's been around for quite some time. And we also offer some parallel functions to help reduce your cycle time with this machine standard. Uh, you have integrated hydraulics for core pull, ejectors, and carriage pull and cylinders. We're going to that next slide. Uh, but one thing that's huge here with the Zephyr product line, and especially the Zeres machine, we have a huge economies of scale factor here. ITN produces on average and sells each year around 35,000 machines, which is a massive number. So with that massive production number, they have a serious buying factor for each component that goes on the machine. They use premium components and world recognized components on these machines. And the best part is these are standard components, meaning that they are easily interchangeable. So they're not gonna go obsolete after just a couple years like some other brands. Um, however, we also have this savings passed down onto you, not only at the purchase point, but also down the road when you're replacing parts. So that's a, a huge translation down to the customer for the economies of scale factor. You also have the significant energy savings that you would see from the Zeres machine as being an electric machine in comparison to a traditional hydraulic style machine. So whether you're looking at replacing a machine or if you're looking at hydraulic versus electric for an upcoming project, uh, we'd love to put together a comparison for you to show you the consumption estimates so that way you, you know, maybe can make a well informed decision and, and understand the savings you would have with an electric compared to a hydraulic for, you know, the, the life of the machine. Now the drive systems on the machine, like I said, electric clamp, electric injection. Now what's actually hydraulic, here's a great visual right here. So you've got the integrated hydraulic system right here on the first panel of the cabinet, and you have your hydraulic carriage pulling cylinders. Why? Because 
historically a lot of molders when they're transitioning from hydraulic over to electric regardless of which electric brand their main complaint was well if I'm doing high pressure molding I might get some blowback or lack of nozzle contact force on the actual nozzle and that's because the electric drive might not just be able to maintain all that force and pressure so your hydraulic pulling cylinders eliminate that worry or concern now you also have hydraulic cores on this machine already installed on the non-operative side on the movable platform. This is a very nice feature to have because historically if you had an electric machine, you'd have to pull around a hydraulic core pull power pack, you'd be hanging off the back of the machine, sucking up floor, uh, floor space, you know, increasing your footprint of the cell. Uh, also, generally speaking, most core pull power packs are pretty messy, they're leaking oil, it's unsightly. Uh, this is already pre-built into the machine, directly plumbed in, right on your movable plat. And you also have hydraulic ejectors. So this creates a lot more knockout force standard with the machine, whereas historically with an electric machine, you might have some issues with knockout force for, let's say, three-plate molds or spring-loaded molds. Uh, this gives you plenty of punch for that knockout force. So not only is this machine more versatile already than a, a standard electric-style machine, but you also are going to see some cost savings because we're reducing the number of drives needed on the machine and replacing them with hydraulics. Now the clamp unit, like I said, it's electric clamp motion. It's a five point toggle design. You can see a, a good side view without guarding here on the right hand side. And we also have encoders on our die height adjustment. So it's got auto and die height adjustment, but this allows for very precise movement uh, and bolt safety protection. And one thing we like to point out, especially with this Zeri's machine is parallel functions are standard. So you have separate circuits, you have electric and hydraulic. Uh, so ejecting the fly cores on the fly uh, is standard on this machine. And here's a good picture in the bottom left of the hydraulic ejectors from the rear. And then your cores on the non-operator side of the movable platen. If you need hydraulic valve gates, it's a, it's a very easy option to tie in uh, on this hydraulic circuit. And for the injection unit for the Zeri's machine, uh, like I said, it's an electric injection unit. It's got a standard swivel function uh, or pivoting function for very easy maintenance items. Um, for the actual injection unit itself, we offer a couple different styles on the Zeris. We have the standard, the high speed, and then we also have the F for uh, packaging style applications. So depending upon your application, this is quite a versatile machine with interchangeable uh, injection unit styles uh, during the actual build process. So. Uh, what you'll notice here too is we have some nice linear guide rails for precision carriage movement. Uh, this is also a, a very nicely elevated injection unit, very easy for cleaning. Clearly there would be guarding on this, uh, but you, you do have some room to get around. But this is a very nice side view that also shows off the uh, dual pull-in hydraulic cylinders for that carriage motion and to prevent nozzle blowback and maintain nozzle contact force. You can also see a good side view of the integrated hydraulic system right here on that first panel, and then the very clean and well-organized electrical cabinet. Now the Sigma Tech Control, very, very strong and robust controller, very processor focused. Uh, it, however, this is a very user-friendly controller. Uh, it's not rocket science, it's, it's very easy to navigate page through page. We even have a simulator. Uh, that we'd be more than happy to give you as a great training tool whether you're looking at buying one of the, these machines or if you just need it, if you already have the machine and, and you are taking on some new employees or want to retrain some employees, uh, this is a, a, a great tool that we offer for free to our customers. Now the Zeri's machine sizes, uh, so like I said earlier, 44 to 1551 US tons, however we have a wide range of injection units. Uh, that we can combine with different size clamps. So depending upon your application, we'd like to review it. Uh, generally speaking, we have around three or four different injection unit sizes per clamp, uh, and we can upsize or downsize depending upon what your needs are. Now, another big uh, thing that I like to point out to a lot of customers, this is copy and paste directly from a Zeri's quote. Uh, these are standard features, and this is something that typically a lot of competitors might line item. And, and show as an additional cost. These are standard uh, on each machine coming into the US and Canadian market. And we also have a very strong warranty. Now, if you don't see an option that you think you need or you might actually very well need uh, that's not listed on here, please feel free to ask us about it and have us quote it on, on your quotation. Uh, we have over 700 different 
available options per machine. Now the Zeri's key takeaways. So again, <laughs> I've said it a few times, it's an electric clamp and injection unit with integrated hydraulic features. So this is a very robust and versatile machine. So it's a high precision solution, but this can cover a wide range of different applications. And this also offers a very nice price versus performance ratio for you as the customer. You're getting a lot of machine for your dollar here. Uh, and the machines that this Zeri's machine competes against are, are usually in a very high price range. This Zeri's machine is at a very, very competitive price point. Now, you also have a very significant energy savings when looking at a hydraulic in comparison. So again, we'd be happy to do an energy savings uh, comparison for you in order to help justify the purchase of a replacement machine or a new machine compared to a hydraulic. Again, the Zeri's utilizes a Sigma Tech controller on here, which is processing focused, but very user friendly. Uh, so a very strong controller platform on this machine, but not intimidating. The low cost of ownership is a huge point for our customers, not only upfront at the purchase point, but also down the road in maintenance. I mentioned the standardized components on this machine and the buying factor with high TNs economies of scale that are translated directly to the customer. So we go completely against industry norms by giving you source codes for our parts. The majority of components are standard on these machines. So in the long term and right away, you will save money. Now, we have very short lead times for building these machines from scratch. Let's say you need a special injection unit and clamp combination. However, we have a very large uh, number of machines in stock of our pre-built inventory. So please ask us for a stock list. We typically carry around 120 or so rolling stock machines, but I appreciate your time. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd be more than happy to look over your application and, and go over whatever you might need. But again, I, I appreciate your time. Thanks for sticking with me on this video, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks. Bye-bye.